Let's continue. Last time we left off after yeah, Rost. After Ross told us he will meet us at Mother's Heart after our preparations. Since I have don't have to do any preparations, I went there straight. And now we're about to have we must speak. A talk with Rost. And he's very insistent on talking now. So time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. I've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. Are you sure they're going to let me in? I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. I'm always torn with this questions, question. I want to go like I understand. Because he's been brought up like the Nora. And we learn his backstory late in the game why he is an outcast and all, and I understand why he decides to not see Aloy again. But I know, I, I like this one very much. It's um, a great uh, opportunity for future character development. Here she says to him that good rid has a good riddance uh, if you if you shun me like the uh, the others, I don't need you. But it's just the anger talking. She loves Rost. He's he's her father, and no one can take that from her. And now he he tries to take it from her. I know I've took uh, taken good riddance, and I understand. So this time I will go, but I will find you. No. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. Oh, that's so sweet. And you. Let him go. For now. 
First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. That's such a tragic story. And I would love to see what... Uh, how, after the, the, so the story of Rost before he left or before he came an outcast is very interesting and I would love a, a DLC or perhaps a separate game about the Red Raids, about Rost, all these little tidbits out of the history of this world or our world. But sadly I haven't heard anything about plans to make that real. You will turn back outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Haven't they technically talked to her now? Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? I believe she's feeling overwhelmed. There are so many people that she has never seen as many people at the same time or at the same place. I heard that must just be sensory overload times a thousand. And the person we're supposed to meet is the one from the tutorial where you're a child. The guy Tab that falls down the brave trail and is pursued or almost discovered Aloy. by watchers and striders. It's you, isn't it? There he is. Over here. And basically in this tutorial you use your focus to sneak hey, through the bushes I have something for you. and for anyway. you help him escape from the striders and not get killed and so he's thanking Aloy. you. Aloy! It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give you years ago. Long overdue. There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you real. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. I believe you can Hi, buy Aloy. everything from him. Yeah, you can only buy the. Protect. I wish you well. 
you can't buy the adept gear yet. That's probably the first time in day tower. That's always something that confuses me. What language are they singing? All the people in this world speak English. So, what are they singing? You never hear any Nora speak anything else than English. You could say that um, because of the player. Korea made this that, but I would have liked to know something more about these languages because that's world building. I love world building. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Especially if it's oh, as good as this one. Oh, this is not supposed to go climbing on other people's you'll roofs, have to tell huh? Us when I'm gone. In the beginning. I hear you, brother. I hear you. Oh, that's just what you want. Here you uh, hear the story the Nora tell about Allmother, Allmother the Mons, and the machines and the people that left the Nora, the Nora tribe um, and UMS. Started the Kaja and the Osaram, and probably the Utaru, but that was a long time ago. They say that the machines seduced these people, told them about their riches, and those were the old ones. But then the machines betrayed us, or betrayed them. Come on over, Aloy. And the uh, Metal Devil tried to kill Allmother, but Allmother defeated him, and now Aloy, all the machines yeah. are more animal like and not as intelligent as. In Aloy, this story, over here. That's the guy we should have bought the tripcaster from. Karst, what are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds. Remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart, I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you, if you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. Always happy to take your shards. He doesn't have anything I want. So now we hear the or first he, the first of the Kaja and an Osiram. Both tribes like the Nora. In a moment we shall bless the proving. But first we have guests to welcome. For two years we have been at peace with the Karja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <coughs> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the and hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Ireland. Killers and Slavers! Killers and Slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance, hold Luminance. your fruit. Nora, oh. Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah! The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Thank you. <clears throat> 
An enunciation of gratitude, written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> Of Menorah, on the eve of your proving, know the Karja stand with you as the sun's light frames the stoutest tree. As those you have nurtured take their places, some of the should do a focus scan, see what it detected. We join your prayers that they will stand tall in the sun. What's my focus picking up? Unknown device detected. Into your What's that mean? It's He's for the gods. I thank the wisdom Just like mine. of your elders, the, should be left the mercy the of your mothers, with our tribes united in trade and no, we all don't have to this. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No, uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? I'm always and where did he get one I've of always these? wondered how these nah, things just a hold on your friends in the side of your head. No, he spends half his time digging There's for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. There's nothing to hold. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost so what happened how did it all end the mad king's own son united karja rebels with asaram freebooters and together we did the impossible took back meridian and killed the crazy old king so now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement under avad there's no more sacrifices no more slavery People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Uh, I want to ask you about out something of you said before. Time reasons. Ask away. Uh, the armor he makes has the Otheram learned to work with metal, like Smith. Olin is a friend of his, the tracker that helped him find a safe way to the Nora lands. And yeah, his sister survived. She's working as with the vanguard. That's uh, that's called the Allied troops of Sunking Abad. Let's keep going to the blessing. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah, look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but 
It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? He's so horny. So. It's for the goddess to judge the card, not me. The past should be left in the past. Weird way you're taken. Did you see those cards you walked past? They all mother forget. So we'll start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. This is one nice ritual. So we could talk to the sun priest. He would uh, mumble some ritual, uh, religious mumbo jumbo. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy, sisters. Yes, yeah. the one on the left Before doesn't each like of you. us. Because it's a prayer really lantern curious. crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. Definitely for Rost. In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. Oh, mother! Hear our prayer! What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. The Nora religion is a really nice and believable way of a matriarchy. Of course, Moss is gonna win. Just look at it. And very no interesting. Way. I have some questions for him. So, let's end the episode here. Next time we talk to Olin and perhaps the Sun Priest and Aaron, and then we'll become a brave and protect the Nora or something. Well then, until next time, bye bye!